Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning back into my channel. Today's video is featuring the Tartiste uh, Pro Palette. Um, if you would have, when you see the colors that this was supposed to be, you'll be like, how did it end up so dark? But whatever, I'm just going to get into this look right here. Uh, so keep watching if you want to see how I achieved it. Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back. Um, I cannot say that enough. So I'm going into my brow bone with Classic from the first row, top row of the Tartiste Pro Palette. And I am using an angled eyeshadow brush because I like the way that it sits into the brows. And I am now using, um, what color is this? This is Vamp. I am using Vamp. Nope, drama. That's drama. I'm using drama, uh, which is on the third row. Going into the crease lightly, though, because this is a soft purple. So I wanted it to be like a transition color. Now I am going in with vamp, which is a deeper purple. Um... And I'm just putting that in the outer V. As you can see, not much difference from drama on the lid, but definitely a tinge of a difference in the palette. And now I am going in with NYX's Milk Jumbo Pencil, putting that all over the lid where I want my lid color to go. As you can see, I don't have much lid space, so I just kind of fake it. And I am going back in with a little more vamp and going over that just to blend milk in to the shadows already on the eye. And now I am taking Fierce and putting that everywhere that I put milk. Um... Fierce is definitely a lighter purple, but doesn't look that light. And then I'm just using the brush that I applied the vamp shadow with to check and make sure that it's all blended together. And now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Um, felt tip liner in Blackest Black. I love this bad boy. It's a really, 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 really good felt tip liner for it to only be $3.00. I'm trying to just do a little wing. The two eyes never match when it comes to that wing tip liner. And I applied my Duo Clear Lash Glue. And these are... Oh my goodness. I'll have it in the caption. I forget what lashes these are. I'm doing the voiceover like three weeks later from when I did the look so and I don't know if I said it in the video or not but I'll have it in the caption anyway okay foundation is already applied um that's what I did off camera I did my contouring just my blush and a little bit of a highlight and I'm going in with um oh what lip is this Okay, we're past the lip, so I missed that opportunity. Now I'm using my Iconoclast Mascara. For that lippy, I'll have the stuff listed at the bottom. Okay, guys, this is the completed look. Uh, I hope you like it. If you don't, I'm not even mad at you. I'm not judging you because that's how I feel. I don't necessarily care for this look. Um, but what I wanted to do was I still wanted to record. Uh, that's the problem with these gurus these days. They just want to upload all these bomb and flawless, perfect looks. When reality is, is something may not turn out the way that you thought it would. And I'm starting to lean more towards the crowd and say, I do not like my Tartiste Pro Palette. The colors just don't look on the eye how they look. 
um, the colors just don't look on the eye how they look in the pan and that pisses me off and then like I started um, using my Tartlet in Bloom and my regular Tartlet palette and it's like the same thing those matte colors they just don't hold I don't know what Tarte is not doing but they need to figure that shit out and fix it because these palettes ain't cheap I mean they're more reasonable compared to other brands but my BH Cosmetics matte palette is very true to color so there's no reason why a palette that's like four or five times more than that palette is not being able to have a true color payoff so yeah that's that I am about to get out of here and head to work and I will see you guys in the next video bye